Today we're out here looking at the uh, Henry Rifle. This is the original Henry Rifle they're calling it. It's made by Henry Rifle Company uh, here in the United States, and that's a good thing. It's been uh, about 148 years since a Henry has been made in the United States. There's some good uh, imported ones, Italian guns, that's been coming in over the last few years, but now they're finally being made again in the United States. And this is a very historical, significant rifle to the history of just about all the farms we have in this country. You know, this was uh, the the basic rifle for this. The, what led to this led to the Winchester, led to the Smith and Wesson Company, led to a lot of different things. But this rifle, when it came out um, in 1860, everybody was using muzzle loaders about at the same time. There was a couple other repeating rifles. Uh, had just come out about the same time, the Spencer and a couple of more, but they didn't have the rate of fire as did this Henry. This Henry, you could load 16 shots in it, while just about everybody else on the battlefield during uh, that war was using muzzleloaders. And it made, it made a great difference in uh, uh, not just in, in the, the action on the battlefield, but the morale of the people involved in the battle. You know, a rifle like this, uh, the Confederates could capture some of them, but they couldn't get the ammunition for it. So it gave the, the Union soldiers that had these things had a great advantage in rate of fire. It didn't have the power. It shot the 44 Henry flat, which used about a 216 grain bullet with 25 or 26 grains of black powder. But most people have never seen an actual Henry rifle in their whole life. I've seen maybe one outside of a museum. You know, a couple of movies they used them, which was, uh, uh, they used them really well. A Lonesome Dove. Uh, the two main characters in that use Henry's. Uh, Silverado, we've seen them in, in Silverado, what, what they, they claimed was a Henry, but what they really used in it was a 66 with a forearm removed because you can see the King's patent loading port in the side of it in the uh, rifle that Danny Glover used, but most people call that a Henry, but it wasn't a Henry. That was a movie Henry. This thing, made by uh, Henry Repeating Arms, they've got as close to the original Henry as they possibly could. They had to change the cartridge in it. This shoots a 44 WCF, uh, commonly called a 4440 by most people. The original used the uh, rimfire cartridge, which is just obsolete now. You can't get it. So with that change, they made this to shoot the uh, slightly more powerful uh, 44 WCF, which really didn't come out until 1873 in that Winchester rifle. But this is a real nice rifle. Of course, it's got a brass receiver, uh, beautifully blue steel uh, barrel and magazine tube, and they are integral just like the originals was. This is not two piece, this is all made in one piece. Brass butt plate, beautiful wood on this thing, very slick action, just like all Henry's and up through the 73 was. To load this thing, you slide up on this little follower, twist this over, drop your cartridges down the tube, and you can load this up with 13. 44 WCF cartridges, twist this back over, let your follower go, and it uh, it works really well. You know, I've had no malfunctions out of this. It works really slick, easy to operate. Of course, it's about a nine and a quarter pound rifle. Recoils just almost nothing. The sights on this will have some good detailed pictures. It got a blade front, got a ladder type rear where you got the notch for your uh, close range stuff. Then you can flip it up, adjust your slider up and down for various ranges. Anyway, it's a, a nice rifle. It's a fun rifle. And like I said, it's made in the USA. It's made right. Uh, they're beautiful rifles. They, uh, they're making a thousand of these with engraved receivers on them. The first uh, 1,000 serial numbers have engraved receivers. You can get that if you want to. Well, this uh, basic rifle right here, I think it's beautiful just the way it is. Nice and slick on that brass side on it. Uh, MSRP on these as of today is uh, 2300 US dollars. You can get them for less than that. There's a quite a bit of difference between wholesale and retail on these Henry rifles, but uh, the Henry Rifle Company, one thing they've got, I like, they've got a motto that says, uh, made in America or not made at all. So they're making this gun in America now. It's a nice rifle. It's a slick rifle. It's a, a historical rifle. At the time, you know, if, if uh, it was like it uh, was today, like it was back then, and everybody just had muzzle or somebody came out with this, there'd be politicians all over the place trying to limit this to two or three rounds instead of it holding 13. But that's not the way it is. It's a nice slick rifle. They work as well as they ever did. Hooks a lot. Gives you a lot of cartridges. It balances really well. Right in front of the receiver, this thing balances and carries well, even for a rifle that heavy. It's just a, a beautiful 
historical uh, piece of machinery and I really love it.